Hi, Jeff Spira here again. And today I want to talk to you about uh, decks on boats and seats and uh, center consoles uh, and cabins as well on uh, home-built boats. Just want to kind of cover the bases and we'll talk to you about uh, some of the specifics that go on to them. So um, on most of my boats, uh, it is appropriate to put a deck on it. Um, typically, I would say there's two kind of styles of decking that you can use. You can, um, you can make a, uh, a slatted deck, which is very common, um, and a lot of people go that way. It allows water to drain down into the bilges, and then you can um, take it out when you pull the boat out of the water through uh, drain holes in the, in the transom. Um, or you can pump it out uh, if it's, you know, it'll all collect in one, the lowest spot and you can, you can pump it out um, with, a, with a bilge pump of some sort. Um, or you could make the deck sealed. And um, on some of my boats, that, um, that sealed deck would be above the water line, which we would call a self-bailing deck. And on others, it might be below. Um, and you could, under the deck, you could actually create flotation areas, but I, I'm going to talk about flotation in a future video, so uh, we won't have to get too, too much into depth on it. But I just want to talk about uh, how the decking uh, gets laid down. Now, a lot of people um, make the deck out of straight lumber, particularly the slatted decks. Uh, it, it screws down to the tops of the frames, or the, or the tops of the uh, um, uh, floor timbers if it's a V-bottom boat. Um, and, um, and you can just deck it over that way. But if you're, uh, if you're planning to make uh, a sealed deck, uh, you'd probably want to cover it in plywood. So you would, uh, you would have to cut the ply out to be a tight fit and then, uh, and, uh, you know, screw it down to, to the decks or the, uh, um, or the floor timbers and, uh, um, and then, uh, you know, caulk the ends with silicone or whatever, glass the, the deck over. So it, uh, um, it's got a non-skid kind of surface on it. So a lot of people just, just paint, uh, epoxy on it and then uh, sprinkle sand, uh, over top. So it, works that way. Or there's, there's other decking, um, methods that you can, you can attach down to the deck. So to make it a non-skid surface. So now if the, if the, de if the, uh, if you're dealing with a flat bottom boat, for instance, that's a smaller boat or, a, um, even, even a V bottom boat, the smaller boat, the deck, the frames aren't high enough to make it a, uh, a self bailing deck. So if you wanted to do that, you'd have to just raise some deck beams a little bit higher um, to raise the deck up a bit. And then you can put, um, you can put drain holes, actually they call them self-sealing scuppers, in the transom that'll take any splash over water or something that comes onto the deck and it'll, it'll uh, allow it to drain out the, the transom and won't allow water to come back. So they, they will self steer, uh, self seal. Sorry about that, and um, and and create that. So that's a that's a, a good possibility. So now most of my boats, uh, especially the smaller ones, um, typically use uh, thwart seats, which are just um, you know crossways seats that you that you'd see on a boat. I'll put a few pictures up so you can see them. Now, on the some of my boats, the smaller ones, again, um, I, I will I will actually show you where those those deck beams are in the frame drawings, so it'll come complete with um, with those seat bases already built in. But um, on on a little bit bigger boats, it's up to you to do that, and it's typically done with an in whale, a, a, a longitudinal element that you can see is attached here that you can attach the the cross seats on. So again, I leave that up to you. Some people like multiple seats. Some, you know, prefer, uh, you know, a single seat or, or 
you know, screw down uh, seat bases and, you know, the thing, all kinds of ways of doing it. So I don't really get into too much detail how that's done. But uh, once you build the hull, you, you should be good enough with this, these materials and methods to, to come up with your own ideas there. Um, a lot of builders also elect to use a um, center console. This is, is very popular. Um, people ask me all the time, do I move it forward? Do I move it back? Where's the best balance? Uh, in and out? I, uh, it doesn't really matter. You can put it just wherever you feel comfortable. Uh, most builders put them uh, not necessarily in the center of the boat, but a little, little farther aft than that, uh, which is perfectly appropriate. Um, and um, although sometimes they feel like there ought to be more weight up forward. So if you move it, if you move it ahead of where you think it uh, needs to be, then those work out very well. Um, with the, uh, the ply on frame manual that is included with every, all of my boat designs, my ply on frame boats anyway, um, and I think it's also in the stitch and glue manual too, but there's a, um, a center console given, and this is this this is the uh, half inch ply simple center console that comes with um, with the San Diego stitch and glue boat. And um, here's here's an example of what it looks like uh, in a boat. But um, uh, you can use it for any of the other boats, so it it's perfectly fine with that. But a lot of people like to come up with their own design uh, and their own sort of whether it's a stand up or sit down sort of center console or it's got a seat in the front and that sort of thing. I'm also coming up with one that has um, that opens and has a, a head space inside. So uh, I know that's a that's a big issue with a lot of women. They want a place to get out of the, uh, you know use the restroom so <laughs> so and get out of the, the off the deck and uh, where guys can hang it over the side it's not so easy for women so I'm, I'm planning to come up with one and I've got I've got a design for one that's that's almost ready to go and I'll probably be offering that free to uh, anyone that uh, has a set of plans so if they want to if they want to use one of those kind of internal head uh uh, center console. So you, you're welcome to build it and put it on. So um, some people uh, elect to use a, a, a stand-up type cabin in there as well, wheelhouse type cabin. Now I include one also in the stitch and glue manual, and it looks just like this one. This one was built right off of those plans, um, and it's it's suitable for boats down as small as 17, 18 feet. Or um, <clears throat> or up to bigger boats as well. This is a, this one's a 19 foot uh, Albion, um, but uh, that's that's included free uh, with with the uh, stitch and glue manual or the uh, ply on frame manual. So anyway, um, yeah, that that is certainly you know uh, uh, possible. Um, also, people ask me. Can I put a, a cuddy cabin on it? I want to be able to use, you know, some sort of camping accommodations. And the answer is typically yes, absolutely. You can build a, you can build a cabin as long as it stays fairly light. Um, some of my uh, bigger boats I include the cabin framing with, uh, so that you would you would you be able to, if you built that framing and then covered it the way I showed you, uh, you'd have your own. Uh, your own cabin. I, I don't lay out the insides. Again, everybody wants it a little bit different way, you know. So, um, so I don't. I don't really do that. So, um, and uh, uh, they're um, as long as they stay light, as I said. So, you know, some people have elected to build nicer, fancier cabins. Um, and uh, and they work out okay. They seem to work out just fine. But uh, typically, a cuddy cabin or a cuddy cabin along with a windshield and, and overhead um, tend to be the, the favorites for most people uh, on my designs. So those are uh, those are included on many. And uh, if not, you can again design your own. Feel free to. 
or if you wish, just um, email me and I'll, I'll be happy to send you um, images of, of some of these under construction so you can build them yourself. Okay, well, that was, this was going to be a kind of a short one. I just wanted to uh, um, put up some pictures for you and explain how to go about doing these um, in, in, uh, verbally so, so you understand what's available to you. Just to remind you, uh, the various devices that I showed here, um, you'll be able to find right down below. I've given you links to find them on Amazon uh, if you would like. Also, please do subscribe to this uh, uh, YouTube channel and, um, and hit the bell so that you get notified of new uh, videos that are posted. Um, if you're interested in any of my boats, uh, please go by my website. Uh, and it's got uh, um, lots of great stuff on there. Uh, it also has an insider section where I've got additional uh, information and and you can freely download the uh, manuals that I talk about and such. Um, and uh, um, all, it, all it takes is you joining and putting in your email address. So I have a way to get a hold of you. Um, but please, please do that. And again, thank you very much for watching.